Hello, let's place dominoes. It's time for pips. We'll start with the easy puzzle. Let's see how it goes. Okay, oh, we need three, which will, we have no zeros, so it'll have to be three ones. So that'll go straight in here. That makes a four equivalence region, and then the threes finish this off. And that's that. Nice easy puzzle, 11 seconds. Let's try medium. Okay, we need two, two zeros, and those, we only have two. So that means the five-sized equivalence region will need, need, need to comprise threes or fives. And we have enough fives. Do we have enough threes? We do not have enough threes. So the zero points up into the five. Then we have double five here. And do we have any extra fives? No, we have exactly the correct number of fives. So the five uh, less than four is the two, which goes there, which means the other five, which is a four, points into the equivalence region because it can't go into the less than four. So now we need a four that connects to a less than four, which is a one, so that goes there. Now we need four of something, which is sixes, and so we have a less than four connecting to a six, which will be a three. Double six goes here. Um, now we have a non-equivalence region, so we just need to make sure not to double up the three is all. So I think we probably put the four in there, zero points up to a three, and then a two avoids breaking the that. And there we go. That was the medium puzzle. Let's try the hard one, see if I can <laughs> improve over my recent performance. Whoa, look at this. Oh, it says no. I don't like that I just said, let's see if I can improve my recent performance, and then the grid is telling me no. Okay, so we need four zeros over here. How many zeros do we have? One, two, three, we have five zeros. So we don't necessarily need, we don't need to maximize them all. Um, and we have an 11. Could the 11 be done in a single domino? It could be with a six and a five. Could it be done by splitting it? It could, I think in theory as well, by being five zero. Oh, actually, no, it can't be a single domino because then we'd need two, two separate doubled up zero dominoes. And that's, that's not possible. So I think, in fact, it does need to be this five pointing to the zero. Then we can double up our zero here. Now we have two zero possibilities, a four or a one. And is either of those not possible in a four-sized equivalence region? One. Uh, and actually, we'd need one of them to be doubled up. That's, that's good to know as well, which means I think it'll need to be fours because we don't have a double one. So the double four goes here. We have a zero and four connected. Now we have a four pointing into a five region, which could be, it could be this one if we have a zero coming off of the five into the one, which would then have a one, a one pip, which would need to connect to a six, which we don't have. So that's not possible. So the four looks like it'll be the oh no no we have a three as well i didn't see that okay so the four will either be a one or a three not sure which we also need a six coming off of the 11 but we on top of that we have three sixes required for the 18 region up here so that does give us wiggle room of one six one additional six to work with although we can put in the double six here that's actually required so that that we can get out of the way now we have three sixes left, and we need two of them between the last cell of the 18 and the other cell of the 11. So are they constrained? If we put this six five here, could we put another five in the equivalence region? That would put a five, four, or three going into the five. We'd then need a one or two connected to a four, which is possible. What about... Oh, actually, let's look at this 10 as well. Sorry. Let's let's think about that. So the 6, 2 cannot go here because we couldn't put an 8 in the other half of the 10. That's straightforward. What about the 6, 5? We need another 5 pointing down into the 5. That seems possible. Or we could have a 6, 3. No, we can't do that because then we'd need a 7 in the 10. Okay, so sorry. I should have looked at that a while ago. So it is the 6, 5 that goes down there. Now, it's, okay, we need one five here, but we also need one five over in this five, and that's pointing up into a five-sized equivalence region, which I think will need to be the threes. 
Could it be fours? No, it can't. We don't have enough fours, I don't think. No. So this will be five, three. This will be five, four. Now we need a one, zero to finish off these two areas. There we go. That's good. So now we need a double three, which goes here. And we need two more threes. We have even more than that, actually. One of them will point into an equivalence region. Oh, yeah. One of them will point into equivalence region. And that could be a two or a six. Oh, what's interesting about that is that if it's this three, well, it doesn't, I'm not, if it's this three, then we could connect a two, six here. But if it's this three with a six, we could also use that same two, six domino in a different orientation up there. I don't know if that matters, but anyway, let's come back over here. What do we have over here? We need a third four that could connect to a one and then a four going into a three, a three going down to a six, that works. Or we could have four, three over here, which would be a two going into a three, then we could have a three. So it feels like there are, there's more than one way to do this. I can't tell if that's right or not. But it feels as though every time I work this through, it feels like there are two options that seem to work fine. So if that five were there, just for instance, we could have a two, three there and a three, six here. And that's all fun. No, that doesn't. No, no, no. Sorry. I wasn't thinking about the fact that we need to, to maintain two of our threes over here. Sorry about that. So maybe let's look, look at it from that angle. That's a two, two, six. Now this two would need to be here. Three equivalents. Four, three, yeah, that works. And then this three over here. Okay, there might have been another way to do that. I'm not sure, but it felt like when I was sort of puzzling it through, it seemed as though uh, a couple things worked, but it might have been that they broke at the last minute. I'm not sure. Let me know if you did this one a different way. Um, there we go. No. <laughs> Let me know if you know what it's what what no is an answer to here as well, because I'm not sure what's going on with that. Anyway, those were the pips. Back tomorrow. Bye for now.